G'day, thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be looking at these Aurora A4 flashlights from Rovivon. So I've got two versions here. This one on the right is just a normal A4 Ti, so titanium. And this one to the left is an A4 Ti Pro. So really what that Pro is, it just has, is it slightly bigger? And just has a bigger battery in there. And the reflector on the front is also slightly different as well as the LED. So I think it just has a little bit more powerful LED. So these are really nice, obviously really small little keychain flashlights. These specific ones are made out of full titanium, they're nice waterproof, and they also have this little extra clip that can clip on top. Like that. And then you can just clip that onto a belt or buckle or anything like that. And this here is also a magnet, so they can be clipped onto things. They are quite powerful and have a whole bunch of different lighting modes. So really low moonlight, low, medium, high, and I think there's a turbo or boost function as well. The other really key thing of these specific ones is down the end here, they have little tritium vials. So just that little thing in there. There's two, one on each side, one on the left side and one on the right side there, and it's kind of exposed on the end here. So that's just little glass vials filled with tritium gas, which, which is radioactive, and that just, as that decays, it emits a light. Um, so this has a really gentle glow. This, these ones are all green, really gentle green glow in the darkness, which I don't think this will be picked up here. I can turn the lights off a little bit. You could maybe see a little bit of that glow happening just there on on both sides it is it is strong enough to clearly see this at night in person but on camera i'm not sure how much it gets picked up and then all of these lights as well have a little uh little flap here for a usb-c port that's covered so it, they just charge with a usb-c cable so that can just plug in and then it just has a little indicator light here as well. It shows the status, so it's blue now and then it'll just turn green when it's actually fully charged. The way these come apart is, I haven't actually taken one of these apart yet, but apparently you just twist this top bit here, which is where the reflector's screwed on, and that separates it and the whole module just, just slides out to be able to replace it. So to do that, I'll just wrap it up in this um, cloth, just to want damage damage that titanium there, or scratch it. And we'll use these Nipex alligators to grip on the front and try to open that up. I don't think that's doing anything, but I don't want to push too much to scratch it. Yeah, so that's already left a couple of little marks on the front there, but it hasn't actually come off. We'll loosen that front up. Gonna actually try using a glove. This has a really nice rubber coating, so it provides plenty of grip. So see if we can use that and get it opened. All right, so there we go. So we did actually get this one. So this is the pro version. And I have scuffed that front a little bit there. So that's not, that's not a great design, maybe I'm just doing it the wrong way, but you can see this front ring now rotates. And there's a bunch of, yeah, again, that's, that's where the thread lock would have been, you can see that. It's red. But either way, this one now opens up, so... We've just got the front little ring that holds it all together, and then we have a reflector. Tiny little thing. And there was this black, I'm not sure exactly what this is, but just a little black spacer as well that sat between the LED and, and this. It, it's square shape on this side, so maybe it's just there to go around the LED quite nicely. And then we've got another ring. This looks like maybe a brass ring. I think that might just be there to yeah, that just sandwiches on the flat bit of this and holds that together. 
So that's what the inside of that looks like. All right, so now the whole assembly should actually just slide out. So I'll take this off because that holds it in place a little bit. And we'll just try to push it out through this slot in here. Awesome, there we go. So we've just got actually this tube. I think it's just a hollow tube. There's, there's nothing actually inside there. Okay, that comes up too bright in camera anyway, but there's, there's nothing inside. It's just a hollow tube. And then this button on top just sort of has a little bit of spring to it still. So it does spring back, but obviously it doesn't press anything because that's on the PCB. All right, and then we've got the actual PCB uh, and then just this loose battery down the bottom. So that's what the PCB looks like. We've got the actual LED emitter on the front, and then we've got that button that gets pressed. That looks like a little inductor there, probably a resistor, tiny little chipboard there, or a little IC there. So I think that might be uh, what actually does the thinking of this. So when you press the button, those different modes will probably get actuated or, or picked by this. And then we just have a couple of other smaller components and then this USB-C port here that is used to charge everything. On the underside, the, beat, the battery just sits loosely in there. So there we just have the Rovi Vaughan logo up here. And then just a date, so 2022 0702. And this battery is just a lithium ion Rovi Vaughan branded as well. That would show up nicely there. Sorry, that shadow is just annoying there. So we've got that Rovi Vaughan. 3.7 volt cell, 330 milliamp battery. So that's it, really small little component inside, tiny little PCB. There's not much heat dissipation or anything like that. So this outside of, so as, as the LED gets hot, it will transfer here to this bottom plate. And then this bottom plate actually, yeah, okay, so sorry. So that actually just sit on this brass sort of ring. So I think this here would be transferring a lot of that heat from that PCB and the LED. And then this sits right next to the case. So that would transfer it to the front of the case. And then the case itself would absorb it and act as a heat sink there. So I'm not going to try to open up this other one because it is quite painful to do and it does scratch it. But I think we can imagine that it's very similar on the inside, just slightly smaller and a smaller battery. But there it is just for comparison anyway. Awesome. So thanks very much for watching. Very much appreciated. Hope you learned something. If you did, leave a like. And if you want to see more of this sort of stuff, then consider subscribing. So thanks very much. Have a good day.